Hello everybody, Andy here from the Hammer Game Channel and welcome back to my French Junta playthrough of Hero Right, where in the last episode Philippe Patan and the military took control of the Republic and then killed the Republic off. So, I've had a little look around and I think what we really need to do right now, <coughs> sorry, is focus on remembering, don't remember the song, do I'm just going to start again. Hello everybody, Andy here from the Hammer Game Channel and welcome back to my French Junta playthrough on Führerreich, where in the last episode, Philippe Patan and the military took over the uh, Third Republic and then killed it off. Now, I've had a look at the tree, and I think I've decided we're going to go ahead and get rid of divided military staff, right? Because that, well, it'll help us in, uh, create land forts, but that's going to be second priority. Um, the first priority is actually going to be to get to remember the song. Now, I am recording this episode straight after the first one, so I don't know which way you guys would have maybe preferred to see me go, but I'm going to go ahead and go for quality weaponsmithing. Just because I want the uh, production cost on toad artillery down as well. So, I feel like we should go ahead and just do that. Just right now. Molotov's a new premier. Interesting. Right, so we'll go ahead and just bin all of these other divisions. We'll keep the tanks. They're something we really will want to get out. But um, we do want to focus on infantry first. And we don't actually have engineers researched, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. Um, how many guns are we short? See, we've got enough guns, which is perfect. Um, I would... Well, Garner wins the presidency of the United States. Nice. Marcel Pagnol releases Caesar. Famed play play uh, playwright and filmmaker Marcel... Pangnall has released the third film in his Marseille trilogy entitled Caesar. Oh, his trilogy just makes me think of the Cornetto trilogy. Uh, the first movie in the trilogy to not be adapted from a screenplay and instead based solely on a film script. Though many believe that in the future the movie will be re-adapted to fit in with the other two plays on stage. The film is hailed as being a staple of cosmopol cosmopolitan French culture and has quickly peaked the charts uh, of, uh, of, for the year of 36. Uh, the main points of criticism towards the film are it's a long run time, just like, uh, you know, three hours for Endgame. But that was a good movie, though. I don't know how long this movie was running on for. And less than an exciting storyline for the climax of a trilogy of a film in place. Oh, I hate anticlimactic um, end of trilogies. Just pish. Um, still, Pagnol continues to be regarded as a genius, not only for film, but other mediums such as poetry and drama. He is seen as one of the embodiments of French... A contemporary French culture and his fans wait endlessly for his mind to produce yet another great story plus two club power. Why did I even bother reading it? Anyways, the vet men have risen up, they have zero divisions. Give me your forces. I'm gonna deal with this. Oh, Hanoi's nice. still under French control. Um, Patan's now off on holiday to Vietnam. And Charles de Gaulle is going to join them. Do they still have zero divisions? They do indeed. Trials of the general final phase. The raw and stench of corruption and robbery has managed to seep into the very top of our military seams, with naval, army and air officers being forced to resign left and right at a staggering rate. Our military has been absolutely crippled by this investigation, and we can only hope for the swift recovery. Surely, can't get any worse. Probably will. Probably will. That's my one concern now. We should probably get fuel refining. Right, can we can we get a going, please? Oh, the the Rhineland is the relief's gone. Right, we have more things we could be doing. Let's go ahead and splash some cash. I'm gonna siphon. Oh, that's um, that's been taken control of. That can go straight back to you. There we go. Right, that's sorted. So we can just go ahead and go, yep, take your divisions back. What we'll do is we'll jump over here and grab the engineer company since we've not got that. Um, and we'll go back in here and we'll siphon some colonial stuff. Yeah, well, resources. I don't know why I said stuff. And we're going to go ahead and also we're going to spend 400 million 400 million. There we go. We have a lot of stuff, stuff crippling us right now. But I kind of feel like if we get through those, I'll get rid of... Um, where is it? The effects of Black Wednesday. The Jeff of Julie Adam. 
French author and feminist Juliette Adam passed away yesterday in southern Paris. She was reportedly with both friends and family when she died. Juliette Adam was famous for several accomplishments, not least of all her detailed account of her childhood and the discord between her parents, which she accurately rem- acutely remembered. Sorry. Uh, she was also remembered for her several accounts of foreign politics during her life and made several uh, divisive writings criticising Bismarck and his policy of German revanchism and unification. Truly a model citizen to the end. She will be missed. Right, so that's done. Extensive quality control, which is going to give us plus two attack. Which gives us, well, reliable weapons as the uh, national spirit. Soviets are just going to go ahead and mop up, I think. Nothing new there, though. That still gets us some money. Hopefully unemployment is going to be non-existent by the end of this. I don't know exactly what any of these are doing, but... Um, oh, the southern border one has disappeared. Penetrate the channel. I'm not wanting the pee off the UK. It's one thing I really do want to avoid during this, is annoying the UK. Oh, they're, they're just unlimited. Raise tariffs? So what's this goal here? Getting it down to zero unemployment? Hmm. Okay. Right, streamline uh, weapon production. Which one gets rid of Oh, it's these ones that get rid of the unemployment. So, what's the whole purpose of those then? Like, if they keep on going, what's the point? We have 250 million francs free. Our war support is at zero. It's not good. Germany's gonna be going on the warpath soon. Oh, we should probably get on the doctrines. Oh, saying that, we... Legs of the Great War. Oh, <laughs> we have to get through one of these as well. Right, um, where is some unemployment? None of you do that. I already knew that. The other three haven't finished yet. Leader for the French people. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We can have, oh gosh, we can get rid of Philippe. Recent arms sale. It seems that, um, oh, Ethiopia has purchased a shipment of arms from us, okay. Philippe Pétain served as leader of the provisional French government for several months now. And radical groups such as the Action Francaise? Party Social Francais and Parti Populaire Francais have been slowly been creeping their way into government positions via recommendation from members of the ruling military government. Now many generals are openly demanding Patan's resignation and the election of a new candidate head of the French government. Patan himself is shocked at this revelation and has stated that he has no intention of backing down to demands from his subordinates. However, support for Patan's resignation is climbing quickly and he may soon be alive with no other choice. No, I don't want an authoritarian democracy. France. Oh, Philippe is staying. Philippe is staying. I better not come to bite me in the arse, but I wouldn't be surprised if it did. Talented military minds. Military colleges across France have been churning out young and spry officers with great effect. The damages to our military from the repeated trials are beginning to wear off, and with a couple of months, our army will be more capable than ever. You say that now, I'm just hoping we don't go to war with Germany before that's sorted out, because that's terrible. So, plan. I th well, we must try and get unemployment down. I, I still, I should have googled <laughs> what inflation actually was. I have learned about it before, sure. Contact with uh, contracts with MAS, 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 MAS. What is one of them? I'm gonna just siphon more funds. We could cut military spending as well for 100 days. Yeah, let's do that. Get some more francs in the ba uh, bank. Oh, relations between France and Italy have slowly deteriorated ever since the end of the Great War. Territorial disputes with her neighbours brought Italy into the Entente 20 years ago. Now it seems their imperialistic attitude has torn apart what's left of this once mighty alliance. It's one of the youngest great powers. Italy was never held in the same regard as France or Britain, but mostly the international community. Italy's desperation to become the dominant power within the Mediterranean had put her at odds with France in the past, but many had hoped that their alliance would put an end to these squabbles, but it seems the ambition of a growing empire can never truly go away. Italy has now chosen to seek their own destiny, separated from France, 
Its development has put the fate of the Entente in question. France's pan-European organisation survived though one of its most powerful members, with Germany become embroiled by this and increase the speed of their rearmament. The future of Europe, as we know it, may be slowly reaching its end. Damn those Italians. Well... Yep, yeah, they're probably going to join Germany. So, thank you for that. What we'll go ahead and do is, we'll go ahead and actually start preparing ourselves for the impending stabbing in the back. But, um, at least the Spanish monarchy is here and we don't have to worry about the nap pops coming in the back side there. So I guess that's one thing we can be happy about. That does suck. I'm, sh I'm shocked. Well, I'm saddened, rather. Not really shocked. I'm just... Gosh dang Italians. How could they do this to me? Again. Well, not again. How could they backstab me? It was coming. <laughs> the backstabbing was coming. It's a shame that uh, we just finished a playthrough as, um, as Italy, as the Volkists, and now they're doing the exact same. Oh, but on the plus side, since they're going that way, we'll have the event, which... Um, we're going to see Victor Emmanuel seek support, so we'll actually be able to see what that does. Oh, didn't actually get anything from that. Why did they leave? Why did you leave? Inflation will decrease. All right, inflation seems to be a bad thing. We are we could decrease that by three by spending a lot of money. Money we do not have. So we're going to raise tariffs, I think. No, yes, we're going to raise, we're going to raise the tariffs. We're going to siphon funds from factories, which is going to take away some factories from us. That's not great. And I'm going to go and splash the cash on you. Cannot go ahead and do that. Don't want us going in the negative money. I feel like that would be very bad, very bad. Gosh, I don't want to be dealing with this. Banks have closed and many companies are filing for action. Many citizens demand their money in cash and our government has been denouncing this tree. Several plans have been put forward to resolve the crisis. We have a very limited budget to work with due to the recent economic scandal which rocketed the French economic and political scene. We the economy back as few may be faced with something far worse. Oh, talented officers. Fantastic. I feel like we should just try and get unemployment to zero. I feel like that's a good start because then everyone's got a job. We can actually do that. I'm really tempted to have a look at those. Well, the Spanish one anyways. But anyways, let's get rid of... Oh, the 70 days for the women. Women in the army, really? I'm going to go ahead and grab you there. We'll come back to that. We shouldn't be having any wars anytime soon anyways, I hope. So it is 1937. Germany's not that strong yet. Although they're getting up there. We do have our defensive line. Well, we did have a massive defensive line ready, but the Germans are probably going to break through it anyways. Right, that's all good, that's all good. Siphon? Yeah, well, we're just going to keep siphoning uh, colonial resources. At least our divisions are armed. Um, they're not exactly full strength just yet, because that would be them there. Get rid of the engineers. Got any tank in now, which is good. I feel like we oh we've not Yeah, we're not building anything. Which isn't which isn't great. It really is not great. Continental supremacy. Well that's gonna be pointless now, Franco Italian cooperation. I feel like I should have done that earlier. Right, we um promote high interest. Unemployment funds. Gonna take four hundred million. We're going to cut military spending again, and then we're going to go on employment funds. You're welcome. It's down to 2% inflation of 42, though. Inflation. Oh, no. Oh, well. I'm just going to have to see how this works out. Hopefully it doesn't kill me. Oh, my gosh. Gosh. Maneuvers along the Pas de Calais. Since the Great War came to an end in 1919, the French military staff have been scrutinized. Oh, sorry, uh, scrutinizing every decision made throughout the course of the war and playing war games to see what they could have done better. Several different prevailing schools of thought have taken hold and the arguments nearly turned violent before the Chief of Army stepped in to mediate the situation. 
What followed were a series of live war games in the Pas de Calais region of France. One side represented Germany and the other represented France. One of the officers found was that using conventional tactics, both armies were forced into a state of trench warfare within weeks of stimulated war beginning. Promising new guerre éclair tactics showed many signs of success, involving a lightly armoured spearhead, which was punched through the enemy lines before spreading out like a funnel, allowing allied... Oh, well, I wonder why they wanted to do that. Uh, funnel allowing allied soldiers to capture huge swaths of enemy troops and hostile lands. This is what you call a cheeky encirclement. Combined with an air offensive, it was believed that this new lightning war could potentially turn the tide in France's favour during the next major continental war. Oh, they're talking about Blitzkrieg. It was not soon after, however, that several officers found major faults with the plan. Fuel and supply shortages were rampant with this doctrine, and the risk of being cut off from the main army was extremely high, and the enemy forces were able to break through the spearhead. It was for these reasons that the plan was essentially scrapped at the end of the war games. We may not have found out magical new doctrine, but the army has certainly learned a thing or two about the fighting a modern defensive war. Ah. Oh. Very clear. Doesn't that mean something in German? Does it? A close friend of ours for years now. Uh, is that how you say it? The Czechs, anyways. Uh, it might not be quite the state that it was before, but it still maintained notoriously strong ties with us and cooperated with fans throughout all these years. Given notice of this incredibly uh, radicalised geopolitical situation in Europe, they have asserted that working together for defence might be the best option, and as we have helped them already through all this time, it's only logical to formalise our ties into a formal alliance. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's formalise with both. I was like, we're not even getting a choice. And integrate them into the Atom, but that's why they have petitioned to join us. Uh, we'll accept you for now, but it doesn't mean I'm going to join you, Gadja, if you get declared war on. Because right now, our economy needs to be resolved. Let's siphon more money. Let's siphon all the money. Adds to infrastructure. Yay. How's Britain doing? Tally military mines. Yes. Turmoil in Hispana. What does that mean? What does that do for us? It does absolutely nothing. Where is that? Okay. That's not really done anything. Safeguard in the low country is never in our schlieffen. I feel like never in our schlieffen. But anyways, back over here to what's actually important. That was a waste of our time. Yeah, the Swiss offered a deal to the vile Germans. You. Yeah. The Swiss government, who is entering the arms market on a state level, offered weaponry to the Germans over us. What is our next step? Surely, we will not let this slip unnoticed. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to demand that you stop giving the Germans guns. How dare you? You're supposed to be a peaceful nation and staying out of conflicts, not flipping giving guns to the bad guys. Oh, and Austria's in a civil war, and Germany's taking advantage of that. Of course they have. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? That's 650 million. We do not have 650 million. Yes, get rid of the Swiss. We do not want anything to do with them. Yeah, we knew that was coming. Um, which way do you went for the Confederation? Well, that is an interesting development, nonetheless. Pan-Germanization policy. Now, I will be playing as the Germans next in this mod because I did do a series in the past but it was really terrible. It broke. And no doubt the Italians will stick the Entente in that playthrough because, you know, that's my luck. Siphon more money. We're going to keep siphoning it. British Imperial Conference. Do we... Oh, no, we don't get to go to that. Why would we get to go to the British Imperial Conference? So, like, don't worry, France. Just you come and join us, too. We're not going to be using tanks, guys. Not for now. We're just going to pump out all of them. Because we're not producing any factories. Oh, we are! Whoa, 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 Right, right. Berlin has announced today their intention to reclaim lost German land stolen by France in the Versailles Tree. Despite our best efforts to contain German expansion and our threats towards German Ring Hollow, it's only a matter of time until Germany drags Europe into another grand conflict. Oh, gosh. Confidence is only at 55%. We need to offer to build the fences in Poland. Oh, I wish there was, like, arms. Nice. Like an approach the, um, the British. I wish that was part of the tree. 
Like, I feel like it could be down here. Just like, Britain, come and help us out, pal. We'll give you something for helping us. Provisional government and administrative builders will build in Algeria alone for smooth transition of power should we ever have to evacuate the mainland. Oh. Well, I'm hoping that doesn't come to that because then we're not going to be able to do anything unless the British do help us. Which is unlikely, I think. Officer's purge is gone. Nice. And with the next this focus finishing, we lose memories of the Somme. It's just going to be legs of the Great War, divided military staff that's going to be the pain in the backside for us. Happy days. Happy days. Good times are coming for us. We're going to be able to start building ourselves back up. We do still need to get rid of the Black Wednesday. Which, if we siphon money, we can go ahead and splash the cash on... Where's the 650 mil one? Boom. We have no money left. Um, yeah, we'll cut military spending for 200. Get 200 in the bank. So, you know, that's not terrible. It's fine. We'll go in here and actually just finish off the uh, template. So, what are they actually up to? Diplomacy in Scandinavia. Don't you dare. Don't you dare do diplomacy in Scandinavia. That's never going to happen. We need to we need to get more confidence in the entente. We need to get that back up. Oh, <laughs> world tensions went down. But anyways, watching the rain. Get that done. Well, let's get down to a new legacy. Hold the line may be what I go for. Division speed, armor division attack. We've not got armor, motorized defense. We've not got motorized. Yes, we are going to be going with the uh, defensive mastery. I'm going to go down there. Hold the line land for construction speed, that's plus 15. Get some forts. And plus two defense. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Probably some of you are going, ah, really? Defensive? You pussy. But you know, I feel like it's the right thing to do. Can't go any higher than that. But we can get some military staff. And maybe some, ah, oh, it's supposed to protest our treaty and believe that it is restrictive and that it constitutes a form of economic warfare in smaller nations abroad. But do you know what I think? I think you just need to, you know, just shut up and take it. I'm gonna go for that. Um, fine. French agree. Knew quite well what they were going to be getting into. Fine. We'll 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 let you get away. We're gonna build defenses in Denmark. On top membership. Yeah. See, we're helping you, Denmark. Don't worry, old buddy, old pal. We got you. We got you. We're going to help out all of our brothers. We're going to help as much as we can. Um, recent arms here. What the hell? Economic demobilization. Why would you ever want to do that? Why? Right, anyways, we have zero unemployment. So, how do we actually, do we have to get inflation down now? So that's going to be a hell of a task. Going to have to just keep siphon. Oh gosh, I don't know. I don't know exactly what we're doing with that. Hold the line. Eyes on the ground. Hold the line. Can we actually choose? Oh, we could choose the other one. I was like, oh gosh, we're only, we only choose one of them anyways. But no, we can't. We can't choose both. Ah, oh, gosh dang, I don't know how to get rid of this. Ella claims our territories today in a surprisingly hostile move. The government of Rome has made up official its claims over French, several French territories. Obviously, Corsica is one. Savoy is going to be one. And also, Nice. How dare they? And anything else? Probably, yep, Tunisia. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, we should probably get all that together. Anyways. Uh, while these claims were held by a fringe nationalist element within Italy for decades, they have finally been cemented as official government policy. It's not clear as of yet what this will mean for our two nations going forward. We can assume for now that Italy has no intention of seeking reapproachment with us. We must keep an eye on the situation. Hell yeah, that's why we're on a border. Like we, we can't have them coming in our backside. Like they can take Africa. Actually saying that, we, we only own some of it. As long as our puppets don't abandon us, we're good. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with those. Like, I feel like I'm doing it right, but at the same time, I feel like I'm doing it wrong. At least we can get some factories going again. <sighs> Might want to invest some time in the fortifications of the um, 
the Italian front. I don't think we have to put any there. No, we do not. Good. The Fourth Boer War. Now, Kingdom Clear War and Zoot on them. On that Africa. We're going to, in, you know, just to show off that we are, uh, you know, we're on their side. We're going to send them some volunteers. See, Britain? Britain, we're on your side. We're on your side, UK. We're on your side. I don't like how the Dominion Newfoundland has Labrador. It's just, ah, uh, India leaves the Empire. Oh, gosh, we are. The British Empire once more occupied with our Boer War. Many within our government believe the Senate arms applies to the Boers that we may boost their chances of finally driving the British from South Africa. Whoa! No. This does not concern us, because we're helping the other side. But uh, there's provisional India. Um, shall we go and take out India? <laughs> Let's go and take out India. Inflation will decrease by five. Boom, do it. Hello, Britain. We're here to aid you. You're not even over here yet, you fools. Pretoria is the aim of the game here for us. So let's go ahead, Charles de Gaulle, Philippe Tan. Maybe not go that far because they're currently not actually covering the whole line. Go and head there. What's the numbers like? 14, 16, 11, 14. Denmark asked for help. The Danish people have asked for us to support them against the threat of Germany. The Treaty of Versailles has awarded Holstein to Denmark. Therefore, should be honoured. Well, the buffer of Denmark, all Scandinavia might fall to the Volkist menace. Maybe in our best interest to stand up against the threat of Germany now instead of later when they gather more strength and many of our own generals warn us that our army may not be ready to fight a major war currently. Oh, France backs. Oh, gosh. We're gonna, we're gonna pussy out. I'm sorry. It, we're not ready. Yeah, why die? We can't. We'll offer the build defences. Get our, get some confidence back up in us. Materials. The government has requested, according to the Entente Council policy, mater military materials to help defend their nation in the current conflict. Where we are obliged to provide support for nations in need in the recent global economic downturn, that has already limited our ability to support ourselves, let alone our nation. Right. We didn't help you out, so we're going to help you out by sending you equipment. We have enough to spare. I feel like we need to. You know, we just told them to bugger off, essentially. Feel bad. Um, Britain, are you actually coming over and helping? Because if you sent some troops over, we could smash this very easily. Oh, they are coming. Because obviously, they, they do need to cover that land. <sighs> right. Um, siphon is still being done. We don't need to do unemployment. We do need to do nothing of like that. We'll cut military spending again. Which I think just put that up anyways. Brilliant. Don't exactly know what I'm doing with that. I'm just winging it. For Vice Savoy, Nice, Midi, Pyrenees. Oh no, fortify Alsace. Get Alsace fortified. Siphon. Let's put it back up to 300. And siphon funds for factories. I don't really want to do that because it's going to run the civvies. Hey, what's in here? Tully manufacturer. Yes, let's do that. Anyways, let's, let's actually focus on what's going on. Oh, gosh. What is going on down here? Let's go to Durban and get to Pretoria. Oh, gosh. We are struggling. We're not. We're not taking any. Oh, it's a river. It's a river. Help go this way. Hopefully that's... Oh, they don't like us. Why? Different ideology. That's that's what's really killing it. It's not that we have any claims on their land or anything and they have any on ours. It's fine. It's happy days. Colombia's at war with Peru. We're going to siphon some more colonial resources and that'll allow us to do the 400 one, which will reduce... Well, you we will be able to do that. So let's go ahead and siphon colonial resources. I'm sorry, Denmark. They died. <laughs> um, why would we build defences up in Austria? In the Czechs. Okay, see, we're gaining confidence. We need to be at 90. 
Sweden, Luxembourg, 11 more. Are you in? Are you in the Entente? Oh, you are not. National sentiment grows in Corsica. The Parti Corsu... Oh gosh, I don't know how to say it. Has been a minor, uh, almost forgettable separatist force in Cor Corsica for a few years, but now, but recently a huge bump in party membership in Corsican nationalist sympathies in general, starting to cause concern for local French officials. Seemingly out of nowhere, local Corsicans led by nationalist uh, Pietro Roca have begun protesting French rule over the island. It will be some time before French authorities can crack down on this growing movement, but in the meantime, we must keep an eye on the situation. They're going to end up flipping to the Italians, aren't they? Well, we have 400 mil again. What can we do? Unemployment is zero. Is that not good? <laughs> Should that not be in green? Is there like... Yeah, I don't know how to get rid of you. Safeguard industry. Safe relocation. That's not what I'm wanting. Why would... Looks construct a grand railway. Um bum 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 nothing can be done over here except from this stuff. Uh you son of a gun. Uh, I'm gonna go down the best defence now, I think. That's decided. How does one I don't know how to get rid of it. I'm, I'm presuming it's through the decisions. Do I have to get inflation down to certain? Spend 400 mil, boys. Right, anyways, I should be doing a focus. Poor Fai Savoy. I think we have to do all the, one of the falling. Nice, we just need to grab you. Grab you and grab you. Nice. Good, good, good. Right, anyways, guys, I'm going to leave that episode there, so thank you very much for watching. Um, if anybody knows what the hell to do with this to get rid of the um, effects of Black Wednesday, then please comment below and tell me. Because right now, that's the one thing that's concerning me, because we can easily get the divided military staff and legs of the Great War now. I'm um, sorry, an attempt to undermine the, us in the Anton Council of Germany has published a pamphlet uh, called Claiming of Mass Abuses of Power in Our Colonies in the Rhineland. Trivium being separated by their mothers at gunpoint, and French forces burn entire villages to the ground. Some of the least insulting claims made by the Germans. These accusations are highly exaggerated, but some nations seem very convinced despite this. You cheeky sons of guns. We're just getting the popularity up. You're not actually a nation, so ta-da! Has refused. <laughs> Why did I think that was going to work? But that's, that's not good, because... Uh, it's a 50%. I was hoping to get it to 90 and actually get some guys backing us. Let's see, there's... Oh. I didn't mean to click that. See, I don't know where the... Um, whoa, why did I want propaganda against the UK? Right, anyways, guys. So, yeah, let me know if you know what, what, what I'm supposed to do with those decisions and get rid of Black, uh, Black Wednesday. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all very soon for some more. Take care. Cheerio. Bye. For the now.